Hey guys, welcome back to this channel. I'm Ella and in this video we are going to work on a white or clay render. These type of presentation are very useful in architecture and also in other industries and it's also very quick and easy so you don't really need to do any extra thing or change your scene or your setting. Let's just start. First thing you need to do is to set your perspective because it's very important to decide on this early on because this way not only you don't waste your time on designing and putting object in a corner that you don't want to have in your render. Also, this helps you to focus on your render and the design, the idea that you want to present. So set your perspective first. I'm going to render this project from bird's eye view. This project is actually a modeling project. It's very old. And yes, I used lots of objects in here. It might look bad from this 3D view, but if you go to Inkscape, it's not looking that bad actually. I have just put all of these objects and assets in locations that I need them to be renders. When we go to bird's eye view, you need to work and think about lots of things around your project. As I said, first we are going to set our perspective. For this kind of rendering, I think orthographic view might look much better than two point or perspective. So first change it to orthographic and then set your view. I think this view looks good, but there is something that we need to change. First, I think there are different things here that I can show instead of these. So I'm going to move these parts away. Just a little like this so I can see these details here too. Then I'm going to tilt a little bit until I don't see this corner here. Cause well I didn't work on that part so I don't want it to be in my render. Maybe something like this. After you set your view, we need to go to visual setting. There is also another way to set your surrounding. For example, if you go to the sky and change your horizon to white cube, there will be lots of cubes all around your render that you can use as white background. They will have no window or details, but it's a good way to fill your background and take a white material render. There's also another much better way to add building and background to your surrounding. It's this new feature in Inkscape. Actually, this site context feature was added in previous version, but I think it's very useful. So the only thing you need to do is to click on here and add site context. In this part, you're going to select your location, select the location of your project. And then in this part, you can select the things that you want to have and be included in your context with these options like building, street, and topography. And then you just need to simply import it. It saves lots of times. I'm not going to try it now because I don't want to change this scene. So let's just continue with these buildings here. Go to visual setting and change your style to white or polystyrene. This is the main thing about white render in Inkscape. As you can see, it changes immediately. And I don't think there is that much difference between these two types. So I'm going to use white for now. Next thing we need to do is to go to sky tab and check this white background. It's because with this unchecked, you might have some colors, pink, orange, or blue colors on your render. And it also prevent colorful reflects on windows and glasses as well. Although we changed all of these materials to white, it's not affecting on transparent material or glasses. Then we are going to change our environment from clear to white cube. This is also because you might see the reflection on your window. So now the only thing we need to do is to set our lighting. Press shift and right click until you find the best lighting. And also if you want to have more control over your shadows, click on view management and create another view. In this part, you can control your sun position with these two options. With this one, you can control the position of your sun and with this, you can change the time of the day. I also think having lights 
different type of lights in all over your render might look much better. So let's change it toward evening or maybe night. Change it until you see some of these lightings, even if they are not this much sharp. So in this part, I love all of these lighting in, and I think I'm going to add some lightings to these parts too. This light in here and in this part is a bit sharp, so I'm going to turn them off. Don't forget to check this box and also this box to export all of these channels as well. Let's also render this thing. While we are here, I think there is another way that you can use to present your design and idea. Go to visual setting and change your style to none. Go to sky and uncheck this one and put your horizon on clear. Then change your lighting until you like the atmosphere. And again, render it. Now that we have all of these, let's take them to Photoshop. I think the lighting of these two parts are much more similar. So with Ctrl A, select this layer, copy it with Ctrl C and paste it on this part with Ctrl V. Now import one of these layers too, maybe material ID or object ID. With these layers, select your building. Now you can turn this layer off. Bring this layer on top of this one and now while your building is selected you can either delete it or create a layer via cut like this and hide it this way you can bold your idea and your design and everything else will be white or clay and also if you want to change the color of this render as well press ctrl shift and a again increase exposure decrease contrast increase highlight a little bit if you want to have more shadows, you can decrease this one too. I also want to decrease whites and blacks like this. This yellowish shade in here is the color of our lighting and you can change it before rendering. But if you didn't and you want it to be less yellow, you can decrease saturation in here and also decrease temperature. So yes, that's it. I hope this was useful for you and you enjoyed watching this tutorial. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next tutorial.